right, the Old West. So this comes from my year of the guitar suite. This particular piece was composed back in 20... 12, so 10 years ago. I remember when I wrote it and I was listening back to it, it just reminded me of some of those old Western movies I've seen. All right, the score and tab is free at my website, so check it out. So you're gonna begin with a G major chord. Bar chord. So I don't, I'm not playing these two fingers, so I won't put them down. So slowly you've got this. Then it goes to a B minor chord. So you've got the B minor chord, C chord, and then you have this. So this is a D major chord. We're just playing the inner strings, so inside of the two outer strings. All right, so I'll play that again without talking so much. So here it is. So this chord repeats again. Now when you go to B minor, make sure that these two fingers, you want to do it like this and not like this. And the reason for it is you want to hold this chord down and then go pinky on that first string. You want those notes to ring if at all possible. And then we're going to go to this chord. So this is just a D major chord, well, D major form, played up here. So this is actually a C major chord, and then you're going to go there. All right, so that line sounds like this. then you repeat that and so when I take the repeat I'll try and do it a little bit differently so I might do more ponticello so ponticello is when you play it closer to the bridge something like that or I might just play it quieter just change the dynamics all right measure five we're gonna start way up here 12 13 14 at the 15th fret plus the open three and two string. All right, so this is a little tricky. The goal is to play this as a fretted note, the 12th fret, but then play those two strings as harmonics at the third and second strings. So, so it's a bit of a tricky thing, so. Then I'm going to do a bar at 10. I cover these two strings. So you can go like this. Then we have this chord. So this is a G major chord. It's a stretch to get that bass plus here. So there's a couple things you can do. One, I'll bring my left elbow out just a little bit to help with it. And I might drop my left shoulder. So those two things help me get that chord. If you try everything and it just doesn't work, you can also just play it like this. So don't play the bass note, just the first, second, and third strings. All right, then we're gonna go. G, C, the D chord we did earlier, G. All right, so that line sounds like this. All right, then just like that first line, when I do the repeat, I try and play it a little bit differently. So again, I might do ponticello, might play it softer. So I might go, oh, let's try that again. All 
Okay. Something like that. All right, then the ending of this is just going to be the last two measures that we just played through. So you've got G, C, D, G. So often I'll play that a little quieter and then maybe a little retardando towards the end. So retardando, it just means that you're going to slow down. So I might go. All right, there it is. The Old West. So I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.